When you have a conflict with someone, do you feel that the adrenaline starts pumping through your veins? Do you feel your hands start shaking? And do you feel that you cannot control yourself anymore? And do you find yourself becoming overly aggressive despite you not wanting to react that way? Because you kind of know that aggression, right, is, is just how weakness manifests itself. Because when a person is really confident and knows the self-worth and, and, and the self-value, right, there's no need to become aggressive. You merely project that confidence into the world, you know, you trans transmit it to the other person and they will pick it up immediately. There will be no need for actual aggression unless there's an actual physical altercation when someone attacks you or something along those lines. But I'm not looking at that scenario. I'm talking about a typical conflict that can happen anywhere at work, you know, in, in a bank, anywhere. And today what happened to me was I, I, I traveled to England for work, right? So I uh, visited this data center where I had to carry out the, uh, a job today. And I'm uh, speaking with this official and I'm briefing him on my task, on the statement of work. And he disagreed with me. And I'm trying to explain the intricacies to him. And he was very abrupt. He says, no, 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 that, that's, not, that's not what's going to happen. And I already felt the adrenaline start pumping a bit faster, right? And I feel a little bit of weakness in my hands, right? However, unlike before, unlike before hypnotherapy, right? When I would lose control over myself completely, right? Now I could control my feelings. I realized that I start feeling a certain way, but then I decided to be constrained, stay polite, and continue speaking with that person. And, and, and eventually I explained everything to them and they understood me. And after that, a couple of minutes after, everything just went away. Whereas previously, I would have felt the aftermath of these emotions for hours, for sure, right? And, and here's the difference. Now that I've been cured, that a lot of my childhood traumas have been cured and the underlying sensations eliminated, now it's so much e easier, infinitely easier to control these situations. What hypnotherapy does to you is it gives you the ability to control your life, how you respond to certain situations. It, it literally hands the reins to life back to you. It's super empowering. But obviously, there is still something that I need to be working on. And as a matter of fact, tonight I'm having a therapy session with one of our Hypnotherapy Academy uh, students, a colleague of mine, basically, right? And this is what we do constantly. We do therapy sessions to each other, thus healing the other person and becoming better therapists ourselves. And uh, over the course of a few months, we've, we've become great, you know, we've become truly amazing. There's still a long way to go before I'm going to be a, a fully, like, healed person. Well, it's, it's interesting, right? You're, you're kind of never fully healed because uh, we, no matter how, how, how good it is, there's, there's, there's always room for improvement, so to speak, right? There's always something coming up. There's always some other sensation that you didn't realize was there before that you need to work upon. But obviously, over time, there will be fewer and fewer of such things, right? So the plan is that around New Year, January, February, I'm going to be able to start working with my clients because at that point... I'm going to reach a, a, a stage in my own development where most of my traumas and everything have been eliminated. And then I'm going to be able to fully resonate with other people in most situations and not cause any kind of, you know, conflicts, uh, not conflicts, but the, the thing is that when you, when you do a therapy session to someone else, if 
you have an emotion that the other person can kind of elicit in you, then that, that will prevent you from conducting a proper session and be able to help that per, uh, person 100%, right? So that's the reason why I'm going to be uh, continuing on this therapy journey myself for a few more months and then obviously for the rest of my life, but intensely for the, for the foreseeable future for the next few months. And then I'm going to start uh, putting out an offer and uh, start taking on clients and healing other people. And uh, that's exactly what we've been doing in our academy, healing others. And it's an amazing, it's an amazing feeling when you, when you see that you can help another person. It's just amazing.